Okay, so in this video, we're gonna break down three of the movements we teach in our locomotion classes. We have the crab, the ape, and the roll leg. So all these movements begin in the deep squat position. So Vinny's gonna start in squat and go ahead with the crab first of all. Notice how the hands go down one at a time. So the left hand reaches, as he leans and loads that arm, the left leg extends before the right arm will contact the floor. Then we transition across, scooping the legs, landing on the left leg first. So once more, we have left hand, then right hand, left foot, then right foot. Yeah, one more. Try to lift your hips as you travel across. So the hips go up, but the toes stay nice and close to the floor. Okay, second one we're gonna go through is the ape. So again, it starts in the resting squat position. So Vinny's gonna show us a lap first. Great, so from squat, we reach out the back hand. So if he's traveling to the right, the left hand touches the floor. From there, we load the weight into the left arm, leaning forward, jumping the left leg through, and pivoting back into squat. Now the right hand goes down first, we lift up and load the arm, slide the right leg through, and pivot back into squat. As this starts to get a bit more familiar, try to add a little bit of height into the hop. So we're getting the hips higher as you come through. Lift the hips, slide through, perfect. Okay, third pattern we're gonna show you today is the roll lay. So this one um, is similar to a cartwheel, but our feet aren't coming off the ground. Instead, we're gonna stay low, close to the concrete. So we'll get Vinny to show you first. Good, so again, same as the other two patterns, we start in the resting squat position. From here, Vinny's gonna place his hands facing behind him. So the fingertips go and face the white wall. One hand, the other hand, then the feet will slide around, keeping in contact with the concrete and so we're back into a squat facing the same way we started. Cool. Sure. <laughs> I'd recommend you start with one pattern at a time. Practice it for a set duration, perhaps two minutes. So find a length in your house or a bit of space where you can perform the crab up your hallway and back down again. Um, once you've got that one down, have a rest. Then do the eight, same thing, same duration. Then the roll lay. Then try to integrate all three. So you're weaving between them. Initially in the order that we've shown you. So crab moves into eight, moves into roll lay. We'll show you that now. So each of these movements will have a direction. So the crab's moving to the left, the ape follows, spins you back, and you follow the momentum into the roll Once you can easily alternate between all three patterns, put on a timer for 90 seconds. Your only goal is to not stop moving and to not change your direction of movement. So we'll do that now. We'll be moving between the three patterns, any order you like, focusing on the continuation of momentum and no pauses. 